Merry Christmas, everybody. Brian Voskel here with Pit Face Barbecue, and for this 12-part series, it's been the Pit Face Barbecue Whiskey Crew. We have done it. It's Christmas Day. It's episode 12 of Will It Christmas. Now, if you're not sure what Will It Christmas is all about, check out the link in the description below. Get caught up. We've had a lot of fun, and it's going to be even more special tonight. And by special, I'm referring to it being Christmas Day. I'm referring to it being the last episode, and I'm thinking we do a little reading from a great piece of literature. So grab yourself a glass, get comfortable. Got my glass here. And let's read together. Gather round all of 21 years or more and hear a tale destined for Christmas lore. It doesn't involve spirits of Christmas present and past. Rather, it's about spirits you pour in your glass. You see, folks find their joy in all sorts of ways. Lights, decorations, 25 Advent days. It's felt in their hearts and souls or with a crisp winter shiver. As for me, I try to feel Christmas right in my liver. And thus, will it Christmas was born, foisted upon society as a way to fight Grinches, bah humbugs, and sobriety. I grab a whiskey or other spirit, then take a pour, add one boop of the knot, then start to explore. I look for the base spirits, spice, body, and richness, along with the knot making me feel like a Christmas miracle witness. Thus far, I've tried ryes and bourbons and scotches and rum. The results, they've been mixed, but each have been fun. From Buffalo Trace White Dog, so buttery and rich, to Old Potrero Rye Christmasing, that wild son of a bitch. Others that Christmas, such as Ardbeg's Peated Scotch, on the flip side, Dickel Tabasco, like a kick to the crotch. And who could forget the most Christmas of all? That wonderful angel's envy certainly decked the halls. Then came a winter afternoon, much like this one here, the celebration of Christmas drawing quite near. Searching for joy, I checked what I had on hand and selected what I think is the best bourbon in all of the land. Booker's is big, bold, spicy, and hot. Could it be infused with good tidings by way of the knot? I want the black pepper, peanut funk, and spice. So I grabbed an older batch that is both naughty and nice. Naughty by way of 60% ABV. Nice because it is what I feel bourbon should be. Uncut, unfiltered. Each sip felt from tongue to toe. I'd expect nothing less bearing the name of the late great Booker No. But I shan't sit waxing poetic as a Booker's romancer. The question, will it Christmas, deserves an answer. So in with the knot, just a boop. None more or less. Then give it a swirl with a little finesse. Right on the nose, the high proof can't be ignored. But hints of the knot's peppermint have also climbed aboard. Now on the palate with a healthy sip, there is a familiar burn on your tongue and your lips. After that initial heat, what to my eager taste buds should appear? Why, I'd argue it's a small helping of holiday cheer. It's a burning Yule log, a fiery wreath, or a Rudolph-sized kick straight to the teeth. It's retained some funk, not a lot, but a little, like eating a candy cane and some fresh peanut brittle. It's Donner, it's Blitzen, it's Frosty, it's Elves, or a legion of nutcrackers standing tall on your shelves. A merging of jolly and high proof comes as a shock, but it's sending good tidings to the tip of my soul. It's not the most festive of all that I've tested, but there are only a few that this hasn't bested. The proof so high, I'll be shirtless after just two or three. This is a merry version of my favorite bourbon, and that's good enough for me. And with that, the bottom of my glass is in sight. So I leave you with this Booker's Will Christmas, and to all, a good night. Cheers, everybody. 
I hope you and yours have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for being a part of this Will It Christmas journey. Love you all.